I'm Kate and this is Stella and we're here with Dana today to interview her about her time at OES. Okay, so the first question is, how long have you been at OES? This is my 33rd year. Um, okay. When did you work prior to OES? I worked at a small independent school in Santa Barbara, California. Um, what is your favorite memory you have at OES? Oof, my favorite memory? There's so many to choose from. <laughs> I don't say my favorite memory had to do with any activity where I was using Spanish in real life with my students. Um, we know you were involved a lot with service at OES, so what changes have you made and what changes would you like to make? In the service program? Yes. You know, I would say a long time ago, service was all about counting hours. And so students just focused on the hours. 20 minutes here, 10 minutes there, an hour here, and it wasn't connected to anything. And so I'm really proud of the focus we've got moving now where it's more towards looking to truly engage with the outside community or in something that's more long-term and hopefully creating students a mindset that this is something they'll continue for a lifelong. Okay, um, which countries have you taken students to at OES? Let's see, I have gone to Spain a bunch of times, Mexico, Ecuador, the Dominican Republic, Italy. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> um, and I think that might be it. Um, what positions have you held at OAS? Oof. Um, obviously, I've taught all the levels of Spanish that we have. I also taught in the middle school for a while. Um, little known fact is I started the middle school track program. So back in the day, yes. So ran that for about 10 years. Um, what else have I, I've kind of worked in, I feel like a little, been on admissions committees, been on planning committees, been on working on accreditation committees. So lots of things over the years. Um, what's your favorite level of Spanish to teach and why? Spanish three, <laughs> my favorite class. Um, I really like it because the beginning years, students are still trying to figure out how to express themselves, how to talk. Um, the, the later years, especially when you're teaching advanced placement, there's a lot of pressure to you know, do well on that test. Advanced placement oftentimes will tell you what to teach. I used to teach advanced placement literature and they very much prescribed this as exactly how the class has to go so there wasn't a lot of creativity. And Spanish three, these middle years where students know how to speak in Spanish, um, so we can have lively discussions, and it's fun. Um, if you could use one thing, what would you say the thing that makes you the most happy at OES? Students. <laughs> and I will say that, that I've, I've had over the years some positions in the administration, and um, I realize that I'm not doing anything right now because at the core of it, I love hanging out with students rather than sitting around with adults. Sorry, friends. <laughs> Um, how do you like your language colleagues? <laughs> I love my language colleagues. They are my best friends. Aww. Aww. What is your favorite department at OES? Uh, language department. <laughs> yes. um, what are some of your hobbies outside of school? Um, outside of school, I like to hike. I live by Tryon Creek Park, so I spend a lot of time in there. I'm an avid reader. I do a lot of reading. And I have a just turned four year old grandson, so I do a lot of playing with him. And I'm teaching him Spanish right now, and that's fun. He thinks Spanish is hysterical. <laughs> what would you say the best way to learn a language? Uh, obviously, I'm really proud of the program that we have here, and students routinely graduate from OES and tell us how um, well prepared and how much they've used Spanish in their real lives. But obviously, the best way is to go live it. So go immerse yourself someplace. Uh, spend a semester, spend a year abroad. What is the worst way to learn a new language? <laughs> Sitting in a classroom, no. Um, I think the worst way to learn a new language is the students that just absolutely don't connect it to anything. So you're just learning a vocabulary word and spitting it back out again, or learning a grammar conjugation and spitting it back out, but you don't really make any connections to how and why it's used. That's usually not very effective. Um, if you could create or choose any winter home trip to anywhere or doing anything, what would you come up with? I really love the winter homes where we have done a three-week dive. We took the week off before winter home and then we stayed through spring break. 
and did homestays with families and went to school. So our students really got to know youth from other, uh, age mates from other countries, live their life, and then those students would come back here and spend three weeks here. Um, obviously, all of that got shut down during COVID. Um, we'll see if we can get something up in the future. Tell us about your grandchild. Oh, my grandson, uh, like I said, just turned four last week. His name is James. He lives close by, so I get to see him all the time. Uh, he loves to talk, so that's fun. Um, he also, I think what I am enjoying right now is watching him learn new things because he is so willing to fail. And whether it's learning to walk or learning whatever new skill, he'll go at it, he'll go at it, he'll go at it, and doesn't get frustrated. And he'll just say, oops, gotta try again. And I, and I wonder where that goes, because by the time we hit you know, high school age, there's a lot of like, didn't get it, I'm done. <laughs> so um, I love the tenacity that he has. And then finally, what would you do to teach him Spanish and what would you not do? Uh, well, I'm teaching him Spanish right now. I, he knows certain phrases. He knows a lot of vocabulary having to do around um, food. Uh, I'd love to take him and immerse him someplace sometime. Uh, what would I not do? Like, how would you not teach him Spanish? Uh, I would not have him fill out random worksheets that don't connect to anything. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.